it is the 23rd, and it is Thursday, because tomorrow, ow, my, it's going to rain, and I am feeling it, oh my god, I'm feeling it, um, mm, tomorrow I got the doctor, and uh, I'm going, I'm not going to go with any preconceived notions, uh, and um, I've been looking at, at a lot of videos regarding frequencies, and, you know, the love frequency, and what frequency sound to use to heal your DNA. I was going to sleep with um, headphones on by Neural Beats. And I guess at some point in between meditation, I'm going to do that today. <sighs> because uh, you can heal your DNA. And my sparkles have been literally coming out of my body. Literally, like, one, two, three. I, don't, I pulled out at least four. The one on the left arm, it was a beautiful seafoam blue-green. Same one on the right arm, a black one and a clear one. The black one was weird. It was hard like a rock, and it glistened. And, of course, it disappeared. Um, I pull them out. They dissipate. It's weird. Um, and yesterday, I filmed outside, and we went to the lake, and I bonded with nature, which I never get to do, but it was really, really nice. And um, I filmed my hands, and I turned my hand just right. It looks like I'm holding a diamond on one of them. And um, I think I glow more in the dark, and I think I sparkle more in the dark. I don't know. Does that make sense? Um, not that there's a whole lot of sun here. As you could see, it's never really that sunny, and it's going to rain right through June. And my cats have just been sitting and watching, but it's pretty clear in here. My ears are ringing at a fever pitch. We'll see if it's busy later. I like to do a before and after video. So if it does get nuts, I could see how the energy has changed. But that is clear. That is so clear. So clear. And not a lot going on. And that's okay, too. Um, my kid said that uh, she could breathe this morning. And her eyes weren't burning. It's unbelievable having this done. I just got to have the fans done now. And oh, I'm going to go to the doctor because I want to tear my house apart. I want to tear this place up. I left a message for housing. Told them that these guys did a great job, and I know they take care of mold. If they could rip up the carpet in the hallway and clean the carpet in the bedroom, I would be happier than a pig in poop. It's like sleeping on the street. You hear that, the motorcycles? The cats get scared. It is so loud. I wish it was quieter. Um, if I lived on the other side of the building, it would be quiet, I, but I wouldn't have a view in here. When I open up the blinds, I have views of the mountains and the church steeples. It's really pretty. But, um, I did film outside yesterday. I don't know if I uploaded it, though. We'll have to look at it. Because uh, I'm not so good with the not making the camera steady. But, um, my sister said she's coming in June. She talked to my daughter, not me. After, you know, the ten texts that I sent her, I'm sure she did not go to the doctor, which is bullshit. Um, I oh, can't stand that. I wish she would just go. So, I'm going to go, and then I will tell her what the doctor tells me. This will be the doctor that told me Google doesn't have a medical degree. Now I gotta clean this place up. I gotta tear everything apart. And my hands and my back are gonna have a problem that I probably will have a very hard time recovering from without medicine. So I don't expect anything from this doctor. I really don't, but I'm gonna go anyway. And uh, I would like to really take care of the rest of my home. I'd like to not redo the furniture, get the dust out of the furniture, and then next month buy covers like bright, like a fuchsia pink and a teal and cover all the furniture and just make it really bright in here. I actually want more tree lights. I want to put more lights on my Christmas tree because the lighting is just really soothing to my sensory issues, which are so horrible. But um, I am re-watching Ichabod Crane. They canceled the show, Sleepy Hollow, and I loved it. Of course, they canceled it. I re-watched Damien. I love that show too. And I re-watched The Exorcist. Yes, I like all that shit. Damien, that something really interesting that they said, the evil will rise up in the form of a politician. I don't know, that got me, that, that won't leave me. But you need that for the lightness, the light to rise up, right? You need darkness for light, so we should thank the darkness for all their bullshit and the horrors that are happening today, like women can't get pregnant, uh, if they have an abortion, they go to jail, if you're raped in certain states, you have to have the rapist baby. Um, this is what's happening here in the States, folks. Really bad shit. We're going backwards 200 years. I'm pretty sure for the people that are rising up, 
The ones that aren't, their knuckles will bleed when they walk. I swear to God, it's going backwards. But yeah, uh, there's something in Texas. They're even going to propose the death penalty in some states for women who knowingly have an abortion. Doesn't matter if... Now, let me. I'll tell you something. When I was... What was it? 2002, I want to say. My daughter was a baby, a little baby. She was born in 98. And I married up with my husband. He had a full-time job. I had a full-time job. He wasn't the great husband in the world, not the greatest. But he was there for his baby. He was a good daddy. And um, I got pregnant. He, we, got, we, we got pregnant. And I wanted to have another baby so bad. I just wanted to have another baby so bad. And I thought that it'd be great to have them close to each other so I could have my babies and get on with my life. And then, have, you know, I, my baby would have a sibling. <coughs> and uh, I go to the doctor, OBGYN, and they said, if you have this baby, you'll die, and the baby will die. You can't have another baby. So I, of course, was brokenhearted, and it wasn't the first time that I was not able to carry. I've been through that a few times, and it's a miracle that I even have my daughter. But, um... So we had a date scheduled for surgery, and the day before, I miscarried. Ugly, bad, like a murder scene in my home. I don't know what happened, but it was bad. And um, I didn't want my baby to see, but oh my God, it's just, it wasn't pleasant. The mess, the, it was a horrible, horrible, horrible miscarry. And so I called the doctor, and I'm like, I guess we'll cancel the surgery because, you know, this happened. And he goes, no, no, you have to get in here. We have to check. Go to the hospital. And the surgery still had to be done because I didn't fully miscarry. I don't know how that's possible, but I didn't. This is not the first time that this has happened to me. Other times it was very early. This was, I was maybe December. I don't know. I was 11 weeks, 11 weeks, and I miscarried. Um, and I had to have the surgery. And then it happened again. It happened another time. So the way the laws, what they're trying to do right now, my point is bad enough that the mother who wants to have another baby is losing babies left and right, say if she's somebody who can't carry a full term but keeps trying, that would be me. Um, you know, it's devastating. Your heart gets ripped out. Your heart gets ripped out. And I swear in these orbs, I have plenty. Well, I see babies. I see babies. I see little babies. I even have a picture, and I'm sure I put that in the Google public photo album, of a little cherub-looking baby riding in on two orbs, like like a little baby pool. Like, you know, you get the little pools for your baby so they could wade in the water. They could put their feet in there. You blow up the pool. It looks like that. And he's wearing an orb crown. I have it as one of my screensavers. I'm still astonished by that to this day. And then I have other ones with little baby's faces in them. I think they're mine. I think they're mine. It's the ones I lost. So, that's crazy. And uh, so now something in Texas, they're forcing a woman who was raped to have the baby and to share custody with her rapist. They're forcing her to do it. Um, and Leanne keeps me hip to all this crap that's going on right now. But who the hell are you to tell a woman what she used to do with her body? Seriously, you bastards on the hill. I just, see why I hate politics? I don't get political, I don't talk politics, I don't post about politics, I don't, I don't, but you know what, if this was maybe 20 years ago happening, I'd be in jail, I'd be in jail, because I can't carry a baby, just Google the laws on what they're trying to do right now, and it is so bad, so horrific, do you see why my cable box is pulled out, and I don't watch television, this is why I only watch my apps, what are you doing up there, Mr. Kitty? And I love my babies, and I love kids, and um, I dedicated my life. I have 20 years, 25 years of my life past has been not mine, my daughter's, and to my ex-husband. And so, yeah, it's time for me to have a life, which is why I lost my shit the other day. But, um, and you know what? That's good, too. Every once in a while, you got to lose your shit, right? Because some people just don't get it until you lose your mind. So... As long as you come back from it and nobody gets hurt, I guess it's not the worst thing. But, um, I, uh, yeah, I'm in shock of what's happening here in the United States and how they're trying to take our power away as women. It's bullshit. 
and infuriating, and I'm limiting my time online. I'm limiting my my what I watch, what I see, what, and I will only post things about ascension, love, light, orbs on my orb page on Facebook and on Facebook. And I just say that we have to stay the course, and we have to stay strong, and we have to be love and light more than ever, and we have to bring whoever we can up to that light with us. Break the cycle. Somebody's angry and mean, you got to send them love. you got to, you know, the, because that darkness, I do believe, is what makes the light rise. But, you know, this is going too far. This is like you're putting women in jail because they can't carry the term or it just, I can't even talk about it. It makes me sick. But that's what's happening here in the States. And uh, I have apocalypse dreams all the time. I have plague dreams. And I have dreams that people are fleeing the United States, and in the clouds, I see neon letters, area codes, where you're allowed to go, zip codes, um, I see ships, I see crazy things in my dreams, um, dreams can be quite turbulent, but, uh, I dream I lived in the forest, I had another dream, I lived in a cave, on a, on a pink beach, any place but here, in the States, because things are just insane, so, you know what, you better love your life every single day, you love somebody, you better tell them, and, um, Stay the course, be love, be light, because that's the only way we're going to win. That's the only way we're going to, you know, I, part of me just says, oh man, I just wish we would transcend right now. We are in the process of this, I know. It could be painful, it could be enlightening, it could be wonderful, it could be maddening, it could be all these things. My skin is changing again. Um, I moisturize like five times a day. I've got that chicken skin again. I think that's why the sparkles are coming out of me. Um... I am clearing up, but I got sparkles coming out of my head, and, uh, yeah, I'm changing again. I'm definitely changing again. My hair is not feeling the same, and my scalp is broken out a little bit, but there's so much. I just want to share with you all the new hair, but I'm not going to do it until I can get my scalp to clear up, like my hairline, because there's just so much, and um, I'm doing really good with healing. I'm doing really, really, really good. You know, the work that it has taken to, to get clear? Well, you see this? It's a horror show. But that's what I have to go through to get my skin clear. But I'm going to talk to the doctor tomorrow. I do need something for my back. Um, and I do need some of my meds back. And I need to be pointed in the right direction. I want to lose the extra 15 pounds, which a lot of people are either gaining or losing or both during ascension. And um, I lost 50 and I gained almost 20. So that's for protection. I don't understand that fully. I don't know what we need to be protected I don't understand it fully. I have to do some research. But um, I'm ready to make my home my own again and to get rid of half the crap in here. And again, stay the course. Be love and be light. They can't win. They can't. It can't be. What's happening now, it hasn't worked through a millennia. That hatred and killing each other, it, it hasn't worked. It doesn't work. When are they going to get it? There's only one way, and that's with peace and love and I don't want to, I don't want to be in a world that's going to be like that. So, you know, it's our, our, our duty to change that. Live by example. So, I'm sure that's what each one of you are doing as well. The whole 5G apocalypse thing, mind boggling to me. But, um, been watching a lot of videos on that stuff too. Thank you, Zephyr Star, beautiful lady, for pointing that out to me because I had no idea because I don't watch TV. So that's what's happening here, and it's nice and still. This is not a lot of orbs. There's not a lot of activity here, but that's okay. That's totally okay. I'm going to chill. I'm going to post this. It'll probably take forever to upload. And then I'm going to clear the, off my phone everything so I have more memory. And I'm going to go through the videos I made yesterday, and if anything that I filmed outside is worthy of sharing, I will. If not, I'll just post pictures to the Google Photo Album. Thank you for listening to me rant, folks. Stay the course. Be peace, be love, be light. Be happy. Kill them with kindness, right? Have a beautiful day, folks. Thank you for watching.